Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you are not subscribed, I will request you to subscribe to this channel so that you can get all these videos and notifications about them. So in this video, we will try to understand what are the different controls of the ISO 27001 standard and what are the different uh, documents related to those controls. So a lot of people ask me regarding what all documents should we create for all the controls which are laid out in ISO 27001. So this video will give you the clarity. Let us quickly go through all the controls uh, documents one by one. For 5.1 information security policy, you can create a policy document. It's as simple as that. If you want to go for 5.2, you can create organizational chart job descriptions, roles and responsibilities, because here you are talking about organization of information security. For asset management, it's very simple. You can go for creating asset inventory, uh, how to create asset inventory, how to create asset register. Already I have created a lot of videos in this YouTube channel, so you can search and find them. And uh, then you should go for classification of assets, depending upon the uh, you know classification levels that you have. Uh, then you should go for a disposal policy because there should be a asset management life cycle and accordingly you should have a disposal policy as well for the assets. Uh, after that, in human security, uh, human resource security, you have different types of contracts, employment contracts, which are related to onboarding contracts as well as offboarding procedures. And you should have training records, you should have security awareness uh, materials which should be uh, conducted on a, you know, annual basis uh, you have to make a periodicity for that after that you have access controls access control policy is uh, a major part of the access controls you need to have access control list you should have visitor management policy for the same in order to make sure that whoever is visiting to your organization uh, you know he's or he or she is able to enter their details accordingly after that you have security of assets here you have physical security policy you have security plan, you should have security checklist. Then you have protection of systems and application. Here you should go for development and maintenance policy, change control policy. Development and maintenance policy is for software development. If you are creating any type of softwares in house, or if you are asking any third party vendor, uh, you know, you should have some kind of guidelines in place in terms of uh, doing that. Uh, for information security of communications and operations, you should have operation security policy and incident response plan so that in case of uh, any uh, you know issues or incidents where you know your communication channels get disrupted then what is your plan of action after that you should have uh, compliance with laws regulations and standards you should have compliance checklist risk assessment of compliance risks and remediation plan here you should have a list of all the regulatory you know standards or regulatory frameworks where you need to ha have to abide as per your business, as per your organization, you should have a compliance checklist for the same. And what would be the risk of non-compliance risk of assessment of compliance risks? You should have mentioned them in the compliance risk register. After that, you have information security awareness and training. Again, part of training plan, training materials, training records should be there. Then you have internal audit where you have internal audit plan, internal audit document, internal audit process. You should have audit reports of how the internal audit went, what were the findings, etc. Then after internal audit, uh, you have management review. You should have uh, minutes for these meetings. You should have action items in it collated. Then you have corrective action. For corrective action, you should have corrective action plan along with the dates, timelines should be there. You, have, you should have action items. You should have all the details in it. Then you have improvement plan. You should have improvement action items and plan in place along with timelines. Then you have risk assessment, risk assessment methodology, how you are conducting risk, risk assessment reports. Uh, all the videos regarding risk assessment and risk management have already been created on this channel. If you have not uh, seen, I would request you to go over the channel and see that. After that, you have risk treatment, risk treatment plan, action items for the risk treatment along with timelines. Timelines are very important in all the documents, otherwise, uh, if you do not put timelines in place, if you do not uh, put any date there, then it will be very difficult for you to complete these documentations. Uh, after that, you have security incident management. Again, part of incident response plan, incident response procedures, 
who to call when to call what all to communicate what all to communicate all this is part of this and then you have business continuity management business continuity plan what is your business continuity plan what is your disaster recovery plan all should be laid out here then you have supplier relationships supplier security policy third party vendor management supplier risk assessment all will come under this then you have outsourcing for outsourcing you have outsourcing contracts uh, security requirements for outsourced services uh, this is very important this is very important because if the contracts are not laid out properly uh, you know you you can get into a lot of trouble so make sure your outsourcing contracts are proper uh, you know and third party vendor contracts are managed properly this is very important so make sure you keep a track of this then you have uh, information security management system isms policy isms plan isms documentation then you have a risk assessment methodology risk assessment report then you have risk treatment plan action items security controls control implementation plan control assessment report control assessment report is basically how to you know assess to assess the effectiveness of the control whether the controls that have been implemented as as per the implementation plan have they been uh, you know implemented effectively or not then you have training plan training materials training records then you have incident response plan incident response procedures then you have business continuity plan disaster recovery plan again coming up then you again have similar documents for supply security policy outsourcing contract security requirements for outsourced services in information security aspects of outsourcing for cryptography you need to have cryptographic policy key management policy network security policy for network and communication infrastructure firewall policy intrusion detection system policy application security policy for configuration management policy for security of systems and applications then you have security of data where you have data classification policy again coming up data retention policy also coming up security of uh, disposal where you have disposal policy data description policy so as you can see most of the documents are repetitive here uh, you know some of the documents are being utilized again and again in different parts of the control in different parts of the standard two things uh, i would like you to watch carefully here one is that all the documentation is not necessary for the implementation okay some of the documentation might not be relative to yourself or the organization in which you are trying to implement the standard however uh, you know this this decision you have to make only for your business for your environment only then you can understand you can decide which documentation you have to create and which documentation is uh, you know is not applicable to your environment for that uh, i would highly request you to uh, you know watch out the videos on this channel so that you can get more clarity on this so that you can get more understanding around this uh, you know so that you can decide which of the controls which of the documents are applicable to you and which are not applicable so that's it in this video if you have any questions if you have any follow up uh, comments feel free to add in the comment section thank you so much for watching take care bye bye